Hi again, this is Shainti back again with Shainti Fine Arts. Today we are going to discuss the different kind of brushes I use for my oil painting. I will kind of show all the different kinds of brushes that I can possibly use. There are a plethora of other kinds of brushes that people use as well, but these are the ones that I use predominantly. And these are the ones that I cannot do without in my oil paintings. And uh, most of it is only only works in oil paintings and for acrylics I'll do a different video for brushes again let's talk about brushes for oil paintings right now let's start with this most common uh, brush this is called uh, called a long flat brush I think because it has got this top is flat I use it for coverage of big surfaces or smaller areas but I, more than this, I prefer the filbert grind, which has the rounded edges, so it kind of blends in very well and helps kind of not have very sharp lines. But if you want to have sharp lines, then you go with the flat brush. So these are the most uh, ones, com most common ones that I use. Then I also use the round brush. This comes in a different. I I have a lot of them in different sizes, depending on how uh, how thin or thick I want my lines to be. For the very fine details, I switch over to this detail brush, and. Uh, it, with all my brushes I like to have long bristles because no matter how well you clean your brush how good you take care of them the paint tends to kind of um, clog up at the bottom of uh, the bristles uh, where the barrel meets the bristles and in course of time they open up so if you have longer bristles it takes longer for the brush to uh, reach the damaged state once the brushes open up you cannot use it anymore especially in case of detailed brushes it becomes totally useless this is the match brush it's a mop brush now this particular kind sheds a lot but it is okay with oil painting because it doesn't dry so fast that so you get time um, you can use another stiff brush to pick up that shedded bristles off the what what I use this mop brush for you you must have seen me using this a lot in different paintings is to kind of get rid of the lines that I create while applying paint on the canvas surface and uh, this helps in blending this is great tool for blending um, and uh, and Remember, this has to be used dry and dry only. You do not use any medium or anything with it. So if you're going to use a lot of mop brushing like I do for realistic kind of painting, I like to have a smooth look. So I, I, I use this mop brush a lot. So it's better to have like three or four of these brushes handy because once it's wet, it's useless. Instead of removing brush strokes, it will create more brush strokes. So you want to have a few of these when you're painting, especially bigger pieces. And how you use it is you barely let the uh, tips of these brushes touch your painting and try to get the uh, remove the brush strokes. Don't press it hard because then it will pick up paint and uh, it will cause brush strokes. You lightly um, use it in different directions. Don't have to do a straight line or a zigzag. You can do rounds in different ways. Whatever works to make it work get the smoothness the desired smoothness so that's about the mop brush this is a brush i do not use it that often but you can use it for a variety of tech to create a variety of textures and it's called a fan brush it's uh, very useful if you are painting evergreen trees it's very useful um, if you're painting clouds in a certain way and uh, I'm thinking of making a video soon um, to exploit the different ways to use this uh, fan brush so watch for it and uh, the only other brush now left is the stiff round brush these are extremely inexpensive um, I get them from Hobby Lobby and uh, they come in a variety of sizes as well. It is used for, uh, I use this for a couple of techniques. First of all, if I kind of want to smudge out a 
portions to kind of create a foggy look then I go for this and then if I have to uh, splatter paint then I go ahead and use this uh, splatter paint like in case of if you're making stars and all that and I will have a painting coming up soon that will show how you use it and I'll also make a separate video like I said about the fan brush use of fan brush I'll make one for the use of round brush as well so look for those videos and that's all I use for oil painting brushes one important thing though that I forgot to mention so far brushes uh, in oil painting can be of uh, can be used of three different kinds first is um, like the bristle brushes the original brush bristles that are made out of animal hair that works totally works but I prefer nowadays to use the synthetic hog hair brushes. Um, they are not animal hair, so kind of makes me feel better that I'm not using animal hair. And it works perfectly fine. In most cases, I would use this. I sometimes use some tack long brushes, bristle brushes, but not so much in case of oil paintings than I would use in case of uh, acrylic paintings. They are a little bit softer and in case of oil painting, you need the heaviness of these hog bristle brushes to hold up paint. So I would kind of, it depends on what I am painting and what stage of painting I am, I would choose between the Taclon bristle and the synthetic hog hair. So that's pretty much it about use of brushes for oil painting. I hope you find this useful. If you want to know anything else, please uh, put a note be uh, below in the comments. I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. I hope you're enjoying my videos. If you would like to suggest any uh, anything that you would like to know, I would like please uh, mention in the comments so that I can come up with some more videos of what you would like to know. And uh, as usual, in the video description, you will find the links to my Facebook page and website. Keep following um, and keep track of what I am working on and what, are coming, what is coming up. Thank you for watching once again.